Hey there, it's Chris with Acting Creative, and this is a handwoven experience. And in today's episode, I am going to tell you about the weaving repair kit. Yep, every weaver should have one. Now, I must admit that the items that are in my kit aren't all centrally located in one position, but they are all close to my loom and handy in case the worst case happens. Because you know it's gonna. At some point, something's gonna break. Something's gonna come on loose. Something is gonna need some attention. And so we need a weaving repair kit handy for us. So let's start with the really easy and obvious stuff, shall we? You need some scissors. At this point, I kind of figure I should just have a little holster on my hip where I just carry them around all the time, look like a cowboy or something. You need scissors, always. You also need some kind of measuring device. I love a measuring tape, but there are times when yardstick or ruler are also just as handy, right? You're gonna need some scrap yarn. Boy, it's amazing how often I use just a little bit. I just need a six inch length of scrap yarn for something, scrap yarn. You're also gonna need some pins. Now, you don't need a whole Mac Daddy. This is like for a quilter or something, but um, but at least have some pins. You don't need a whole bunch, but some. I recommend both straight and safety pins, both types, because there's uh, times when a safety pin is really what you need, and other times when a, when a straight pin is just easier. So have some pins handy. To go along with that, you're gonna need some needles. This is like the biggest needle I could find. It's enormous. And you probably don't need the one this big, but maybe a couple sizes of needles. Because there are moments when you're going to need to work that yarn back into the fabric and hide it. And the needle's perfect for that. So have a couple different sizes smaller than this. You're also going to need, well, we're going to need some tools. Even though we are not mechanics, we work on looms and looms are mechanical. Therefore, we need tools. So I recommend uh, screwdrivers, both a flathead and a Phillips. Because the screws on your loom may vary, I find that I need to tighten up the screws on my bench quite often, as well as on my table loom. The floor loom's pretty good, but uh, but for the floor loom, let me tell you about the tools I need for that. I always have my pliers handy for that. So here's what's so funny. Here's my story to go with the pliers. So on my floor loom, on the beater bar that holds the reed, right? In the middle of summer, if the wood swells at all, those little screws are almost impossible to unscrew just using my hands. So I'm like, okay, it's August. I need my pliers. So I pull out the pliers and I get in there and try to loosen up those screws. So you need tools. Even if you have never fixed a thing in your life, if you own a loom, you're gonna to have to fix some things on occasion. So have some tools, my friends. All right, you are also gonna need a few extras. That's what I recommend. I recommend having a few extra heddles, right? Whatever kind of heddles you have, just have a few extra that are handy. You probably do not need the, what, 50 that are on my little uh, holder here, but you need some. So have, I don't know, have a dozen. Have a dozen handy that you can um, put into your loom if you miscount something, because I would like to think that we are always so exact that we never miscount, but it's not life. In real life, well, on occasion, we just miscount. So have heddles handy. But to go with that, you also are gonna want some repair heddles. Look at that, dude. Now, let me kind of explain the difference. These heddles are, oh, I'm all tangled. <laughs> These heddles are for when you can gracefully add some to your shafts, like when you're just um, uh, um, putting the project through the loom, you're just dressing your loom right in the beginning. This guy here is for when you've realized you've messed up, the whole loom is dressed, you've started the project, and you're like, oh crap, I need to add a thread right in the middle on shaft two, thus the repair heddle. Now, if you haven't seen a repair heddle before, I did a whole episode about it. I'll include a link in the description and you can go check it out. They're very easy to make. It's just a safety pin at both ends and then I make myself a little eye right in the middle. Works like a charm. And I recommend have, you know, I don't know, four or five of these ready to go. Because I feel like it's kind of like Murphy's Law, is that if you have the heddles ready to go, you 
more than likely won't have challenges. However, the minute you don't have any heddles ready, you're like, oh, okay, I need to put a yarn right in the middle of my project. And I need a repair heddle to do it. So just make yourself a few repair heddles. They'll come in handy at those weird moments when you, when things go sideways. Uh, I also recommend some extra tie-ups. This is um, a tie-up for my uh, floor loom. So a tie-up which connects the treadles to the lambs to the shafts. So um, as you're putting all the pieces together, have a couple extra tie-ups ready for your floor loom. Or if you're working on a table loom, have some cord ready. Some just, you know, like this kind of cord you get at the hardware store because there are times that just that motion of moving your levers um, up and down over and over again, they're gonna fray over time and snap. And they usually snap at the worst possible moment. Let me just tell you from experience. So have some uh, cord ready that you can kind of fashion yourself um, a little tie up, either for your floor loom or your table loom, either one. And lastly, have some weights. Uh, these are my weights. These are um, old film canisters, which of course, you have to be over a certain age to even know what it is. But I have film canisters with just a few coins in them, just like this. If you're not as old as I am, or you have no idea what I'm talking about, just use some prescription bottles. They're very handy. It has the same thing. So you can have, you put a few coins or some kind of weight in there, snap the top on, and then you can attach your yarn to it to weight off the back of your loom. So, um, you know, have a couple of these. I had a project recently where I broke three yarns all in the span of uh, just a couple hours. So have a, have a few of these ready to go for when the uh, worst happens. So that is my list. That is my kind of collection of items that I always keep near me just in case things go badly because we're all gonna have those days. What is in your weaving repair kit? What am I missing? What kind of things do you have always around you near your loom? Uh, near your yarn that uh, you can access in case things uh, break or get loose or whatever goes wrong. So let me know in the comments what else I should be including in my weaving repair kit. And uh, I'll include the whole list for you so you can uh, check it out. And if you don't have one, you can create your own weaving repair kit. I hope that helps. Have a great week, my friends. Happy weaving.